Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects video. In today's video, we will be taking a quick overview of an amazing product called the Montage Library from an amazing author called Nitrosum. Now, if you haven't heard about Montage Library, let me give you guys a quick preview of it. Audio jump. So as you saw it is packed up with many features and presets so let's go ahead and let's see what it has to offer. Alright so here we are in After Effects now to launch the montage library you need to launch the animation studios and to do that you can go into windows extension and animation studios. So if you have the video library and the montage library you can see you'll get this kind of a panel where you can choose between whether you want to open video library or whether you want to open the montage library. Now I have already created a review video on the video library to which I'll provide the link in the description below and also in the i button above so you can go ahead and check it out as well. So let's go and hop into montage library. Now here we have different number of presets to choose from. And the best part is that if you purchase the regular license of the montage library you will get the extended license absolutely free meaning you can use it in your personal project as well as on commercial projects as well so you can use it absolutely anywhere without any issues so that is a limited time offer for just my subscribers so make sure to go ahead and purchase the product if you enjoy it so let's go ahead and let's see what this montage library has to offer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is drag in an image on which we will apply the preset. So here we have some camera ease animations so I can just hover over a particular animation or over a particular preset and it's going to play it into the preview window just like so. So let's say I'll use the zoom out preset so I'm going to select this and move the time indicator at the very beginning and let's click on apply. So it's going to take few seconds and there we have our really nice and simple animation. Now what I can do is I can add more and more effects or presets and make the complete scene look more interesting. So let's go ahead and let's see what we have in the camera fade section. So here we have a different camera angles which are more subtle and you know more smooth. Then we have the camera shot and animations which are pretty you no know, snappy and short looking animations so you can use them as well. Then we have the camera shot which is again really interesting animations and we have the camera slow animations which I guess are slow yep then we have the camera twist animation which has this really nice twist to this so it makes it look very interesting and here we have different number of you know animation to choose from and let's say I want to customize this particular preset that I have so what I can do is I can select the layer or the composition that we have go into this settings icon and there we have a complete controller to change or manipulate the preset according to your personal preference so you can go ahead and you know manipulate it or you know change it according to your requirements let's go back into the animation studios and let's hop in into the chromatic section now this is one of my favorite section here we have some really nice chromatic animations as you can see so i'm going to select one of these so let's move the time indicator at the very beginning and click on the maybe this one so let's click apply it's going to take a few seconds 
Now After Effects is gonna take few seconds to you know calculate the complete composition as it is a very complex and heavy preset because it consists of a lot of effects going on. So there we have it you can see it looks really interesting you can see before adding the preset and after adding the preset it makes it look really more interesting. Then we have the color correction preset so I can choose between different color correction depending again on your personal preference so let's say I'm gonna go with maybe something like cinematic look so let's move the time indicator and hit apply again it may take a few seconds to load up yep and there we have it looking very very interesting as you can see before and after there is a hell of difference between the image so you know instead of just you know placing the image and you know showing it you can you know use this technique or use this preset to showcase your image or you can also use it in your videos as well so let's add some more cool stuff maybe I'll add something like a color effects to this so here we have some really nice and interesting color effects to choose from here we have this echo one which is which is looking pretty interesting so I'm gonna go at the very beginning and let's add this one hit apply and this time instead of a instead of an image i'm going to drag in a video so you can see it more properly let's see what we have drag this video maybe so you can see the clear section yep this is actually looking pretty cool maybe i'll just you know close up because there are too many effects going on right now looking very very interesting i'm gonna close the echo and the chromatic one as well i'm gonna just keep the chromatic one i guess looks interesting so let's hide this one for now and let's add some more effects so i can use some distortion one you know would look pretty cool for some kind of projects you can use this as a you know pretty cool look then we have the light leaks now light leaks is one of my favorite section of the montage library so here we have different number of you know light strokes light leaks and some different light effects that you can use them as you can see it looks very very cool then we have the screen beat which is again a different kind of an effect that you can use for your project so i can you know move the time indicator at the very beginning again hit apply and it's gonna take a few seconds okay let's see what it has it has this really cool kind of RGB split effect which I think looks very interesting you know let's say this is my car commercial so I can add this effect to you know add some really nice look to this you can add more and more effects to make it look more interesting but as you go you know add more and more effects the comp is gonna get heavy as well so just keep that in mind while you add an effect so as you can see it look very very interesting then we have some screen effects these are basically some really nice DOF you know some mirrored effects that you can use in your projects so let's say I'll add maybe this one so I can go ahead and hit on apply and there we have it now ideally I feel that this is not the right footage for this kind of effect but you get the idea you can you know make it look really interesting as you can see you can use it maybe this kind of an effect it look interesting but yeah you can use it on different kind of you know image or footage of obviously you can use it on an image I guess that would look pretty cool as you can see yep then I'm just gonna hide this for now now let's go into the speed beats so here we have some really interesting effects that you can use them so let's select one of these let's go very beginning and hit apply so it adds kind of a speeding effect of different frames to get a really cool look so you can you know add this and maybe crop this a bit and there we have a really interesting effect so you can use it in creating some fast dynamic looking 
snaps of the video now what i can do is let's go and play around with some transitions so this pack has some really interesting transitions which can make your complete scene look more interesting so what i can do is maybe i'll select this one and you know hit apply to add the transition and let's see what we has now obviously after effects is going to take a few seconds to you know calculate the complete composition and there we have it a different kind of a glitchy look that it has interesting you can you know add more and more effects to make it look more complex i think so maybe i can add this one as well and as you can see it's a really cool looking transition which adds some really interesting you know effects into your complete video so let's go ahead and play around with some displacement transitions which are again one of my favorite now these are the transitions which are pretty much trending on video hive these days a lot so you can use this in your project as you're getting the extended license so you can use it anywhere that you want see it really really interesting looks to go ahead and play around with so all in all i think this is a complete package of presets that you would need for creating a complete you know video or a commercial or add some different effect on your simple footages and make them look more and more interesting so yep that is all for today guys i hope this video was helpful and it helped you in some on the way make sure to check out nitrosum the link will be down in the description below and as always I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And also, do let me know what you think about this montage library in the comment section below. Till then, take care. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.